Hi guys! Now we're talking about stern tube seals and propeller shaft seals. Stern tube seal is a housing with series of seal rings clamped into position on the bush. Stern tube seals have to perform two separate functions. One is to ensure that water does not enter the engine room. The second one to allow the propeller shaft to rotate as smoothly and freely as possible. Oil lubricated stern tube requires two types of seals. One water seals and one oil seals. The diagram shows the flow of oil and air on the stern tube system. Modern stern tube seals are highly engineered units designed and manufactured to withstand a rigorous working environment for the long periods of time. The one that you're seeing right now is the aft stern tube seals. The function of the aft seal is to prevent leakage of lubricating oil from the stern tube outboard and to prevent seawater from entering the stern tube and contaminating the lubricating system. Stern tube seals are shaped in such a way as to allow the propulsion shaft to move through them unhindered. They contain the following parts, tube, bearings, connection planches, temperature sensor pipes, stern tube seals, and some type of lubrications. One of the most important pieces of equipment on this ocean-going vessel is by far the stern tube seals since it allows the propulsion shaft to spin continually without seawater seeping into their vessels. This type of seal must be durable and long-lasting along with environmentally friendly like what we use today. Camel stern tube seals fit this goal for a variety of reasons. In general, stern tube seals are a key component of the propulsion system of the ship. The purpose of this sealing ring is to ensure a reliable sealing condition Preventing the spillage of lubricant to the environment, the research on this large rotary seal is limited due to their complex accessibility. Stern tube seals are located below the seawater level on a moving ship. A dynamic setup replicating the operating condition of the stern tube seal is presented together with a novel arrangement for monitoring the flow rate across the seal. The frictional torque, the operating temperature, and the lubricating migration across the seal are measured under various shaft velocities, pressures, differences. Once this is fitted, the entire stern tube is flooded with lubricant in order to minimize the friction on the bearings so the engine power is used primarily to overcome the water resistance. A set of rotary seals is placed to both ends of the stern tube to prevent lubricant leakage and the entrapment of water to the stern tube. Normal arrangement of stern tube seals up and stern tube seals forward. Thanks for watching. Please like our video and don't forget to subscribe to keep you notified to our latest videos. Comment, comment, hashtag, and subscribe. And I will also check your channel.